Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 5. My name is Daniel, also known as Witch Hats, and a couple of things uh, before we get started here. I wanted to apologize for the live stream. Um, I did a live stream on Saturday, uh, and for any of you who managed to... I know not many of you came out to it, but for those who did, I apologize for the quality of that live stream because... Um, the audio was echoey, and I- like, the game audio was echoing, and I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that because, um... I, I had a suspicion that was going to be the case because of the way I was recording things. I was basically recording, uh... I was- I was trying to record one more thing that I do normally, and that would be, uh, my friend. Um... Because I was in Skype, and I was trying to call- and I was, like, calling with my friend so he could join in on the stream as a guest. Now, two things went wrong with that. One, he was a lot louder. He and the game both were a lot louder than me. I don't know why OBS doesn't like my mic, but apparently OBS doesn't like my mic, so I have to figure out how to adjust the level of my mic because um, I record in Audacity and it's fine, and then I record in OBS for my stream and, uh, well, not record, but uh, stream OBS, and it thinks my mic is like, like half as loud as it is normally. Um, so that's, that's something I'm gonna have to fix, but, um, unfortunately, that isn't even the worst of it. The worst of it is the fact that the game audio was, um, was echoey, and the reason for that was because I was recording both my, uh, I was recording the game audio from both the game, um, directly from the game with, along with the visuals, and I, I was also streaming, um, the desktop audio, and the game audio was playing through the desktop audio for me, that's how I normally do it. Um, what I normally do is I have my TV muted, and I have my, uh, I have my TV muted, and, um, I listen to the game audio through the recording, um, through the, through the, through my capture software, and it also records the, uh, game audio at the same time. Unfortunately, um, there wasn't really a way for me to, like, I was trying to figure out how to split those, I'm sure there's a way for me to do it, it's just, OBS doesn't allow me to just, like, split those. Um, what I'm trying to do is capture just Skype's audio without the rest of the desktop audio, because I don't need the rest of, rest of the desktop audio, but I need the desktop audio to still be playing Persona 5 stuff, so I can actually hear what's going on. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to do that, like, cleanly. Um, it's probably gonna involve a little bit of, you know, like, uh, jury rigging and, like, getting, s like, software and figuring something out there. But, um, that's what I need to do. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, sorry about the quality of the stream. Um, I will fix it before the next one. Um, but, uh, not, I guess I kind of just rambled on a little too long about, uh, something that many of you might not have even come. Many of you have probably not even, uh, shown up to, so, uh, without further ado, it is evening on the 14th, and we, uh, we aren't doing anything tonight, because if we do, Morgana's gonna yell at us. There we go, we just finished up exams, so Morgana's like, go to sleep. We're going to the exhibition tomorrow, right? Don't oversleep. Ichiris... Ichiruusai Madarame, an infinite font of ideas, huh? I read the blurb on the ticket, but it seems that this Madarame is actually an amazing artist. Some of his pieces might be worth worth looking at, after all. Well, there's only one way to find out. And also, uh, the reason I didn't know about the echo problem um, that I was mentioning going back to the livestream uh, was because I asked my friend, who was, like, the the person I was calling with uh, over Skype, uh, I asked my friend. I was like, hey, uh, is it echoing, um, on the live stream? And he was like, no, no, it's not echoing. I don't hear an echo. There was a very obvious echo. So, um, yeah. I'm not trying to blame him. I, like I said, it was something I thought would probably happen. I just didn't verify it. So crowded. And everything was kind of down to the wire, too, because we were like, we were going to get ready, and then I was like, oh, wait, that's going to be a problem, but it was, like, almost time for the live stream, so I kind of rushed that. 
and there wasn't anyone like in chat mentioning the echo so I just didn't know about it I would have tried to fix it otherwise uh, but anyways we're at the museum it'll be a pain in the ass if someone sees you so don't stick your head out too much all right you came oh, man. Um, yeah he sounds excited you really came I mean, sounds less excited about Ryuji being here. What you expect when you left us those tickets? Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Hey man, I'm just here to appreciate art. Come now, I'll show you around. I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw too. Well, see you guys later. Will Lady Han be all right? What if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? Uh, Morgana, the paintings are on the wall. How does that work? I told you not to come out! Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? Hey, I'm gonna appreciate the crap out of these fine arts. Uh, let's learn about Madarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh, which way are we supposed to start? Hmm? It's that old man from the other day. Uh, that would probably be Madarame. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. Okay, that's definitely Madarame. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart. Like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. Poetic. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. Who would understand if you saw it? <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Oh man. Stop pushing! Just got suddenly just busy. Too many people. I'm getting crushed. We're gonna get back in the bag. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. Usually one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. Wow. He's special. Yeah. There you are, Yusuke. I mean, look at those two paintings in the back. If those are both his. Sorry about that. Had a bit of a coughing fit. Um, actually, I uh, I'm not actually not feeling that well today. But that isn't going to stop me from bringing you guys some uh, high quality Persona Five content. All right. Uh. Sensei. Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. I think I was going to point out how those two paintings on the back have, like, vastly different styles. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. Like, one's more realistic, and the other one's, like, more... That's more impressionism. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me... You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach, but he seems really friendly. Indeed. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. That's an interesting expression. 
don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. H hey! He seemed conflicted about that. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. <laughs> we just bailed. That, we we're like, I remember now. Uh, about what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Here, look at this. Why'd you leave without me? Because we got trampled by a crowd of crazy art enthusiasts. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Eh, anyways, you gotta look at this too. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? Oh man. I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. B why? His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? I still don't see where Ryuji got Shaq from all if that. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. Like, that's some word association, man. Like, I mean, what? I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Aw, oh, man. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I mean... We were told about Madarame. But we really don't much of, know much about him. There's this much overlap. Ain't it pretty much settled? I mean, yeah, I guess he does seem to if fit the bill. this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? Well, yeah, but... Is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info. And the address to his sensei's atelier. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Aw, oh, man. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? This is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, this might be this might just be exactly what we needed. Um, but anyways, I think Morgana's probably gonna hey. stop us again. Yep, because we gotta investigate Madarame. Well, so, let's go to bed. Sorry if I've been less uh Talkative than normal, like I said, I'm not entirely feeling all that well, but um Oh yes. Oh yeah, the great artist Madarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his works a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent. The moment I saw them I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Karusukun. Here's a question. 
Do you know who created the piece which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? The answer to this one is Van Gogh. Oh, not bad. It seems you know a thing or two after all. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen, and it sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. Hey, did you know that? I had no idea. Maybe he actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Wow, you must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Aw oh, man, knowledge up. People put a serious amount of passion and money into art. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two, or two myself. Haha. <laughs> Seems like art can make you a tidy sum. Let's see whether let's see with our own eyes whether or not the accusations of him stealing art are true. You're meeting Lady On and the others at the train station, right? Let's go when class gets out. I mean, there's a lot of money in art, and there's also a lot of money in faking art. Come on. Phantom Thieves going by train? This ain't any different from how I get fr home from school, you know. The train is the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring, bring pets on here. No. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me Master. Hey. Ooh, kitty. Er, shoot. Is that your pest pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Uh, it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's a toy. It's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Hey. You heard her, Akira. Press on its head. This is a ridic- <sighs> Meow. Woo wee! Again, again! I should press gently. I'll press forcefully. Time to button mash! Yeah! <laughs> Best response to that. If you pick any other response, you're wrong. It doesn't it doesn't make a difference. You don't get anything for it. The game doesn't reward you for choosing that, but if you pick any other response, you're wrong. Blurg. <laughs> That's so funny. I want to hear it again. I just threw up in my mouth. Seriously? The next stop is Shibuya. Shibuya. Doors will open on the left side. Oh, this is our stop. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Ah. Oh. Things get all tense, and then something like that happens. So which line do we gotta transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close by to that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of Phantom Thieves takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighbor- But this is the neighborhood he lives in, as expected of a famous okay, artist. Okay, let's get going. Looks like the fastest route is to get to Station Square and then go to Central Street. Let's move. Aw oh man, I'm in charge. That's a bad idea. I get lost easily. Like right now, where the hell are we? Uh, probably out here, right? Okay, no. That's the access way. Oh, is it down here? Where are we? Oh, I know where we are. We have to go down here. Because that'll go out to uh, the... Yeah, okay, here we go. I know where we are now. Don't worry, guys, I got this. Leading the way. Wait. You sure it's this way? I don't remember seeing a house. Um... It's supposed to be in a res residential area past Central Street. We have to- we'll have to walk a bit, though. Okay, let's go this way. Tsuguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Aw oh man, random, random interlude. The reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? The human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. 
Jujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. I think he's suspicious that something with something up with Kamishida wasn't exactly right. I don't think he buys the whole Kamishida, you know, naturally. Is that it? Turned himself in. We're at the right address. Well, I mean, he did say it was a shack. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Takamaki, sir. Wow, he wasn't wrong. He was right out. You two are here as well? Uh, we just came along, you know. Hey. Sorry, but, uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Ryuji, there is a thing called tact, and you need to learn some. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Aw oh man, cut straight to the point, why don't ya? Are you serious? We read about it online. Ryuji. This? <laughs> he... Imposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? He has a good evil laugh. If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. You sound pretty angry. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. He's doing that thing where he's closing one eyelid. You might be lying about it. That... That is utter yeah. rubbish. You hesitated for a bit there. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! You really think that? Ryuji, come on. Yusuke. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work, as well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two seem like nice guys, don't they? They seem genuine enough, but, uh... Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. Man, right 
and we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, no. Hey, the app. Oh, Was man. it picking up our conversation? This display. It means that Madarame has a palace, too, right? Well, that pretty much settles it. Madarame is not... Madarame is not clean. But why? Madarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Madarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Why don't we start with castle? No candidates found. Then what about prison? No, that's my palace. I, uh, I mean, probably not, but... I do have the velvet room. That's, that's a prison. A warehouse and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. Brianji, uh, seriously? Not a single hit. Should we There's come an back obvious. Another time? There's an obvious one, guys. Building come that's on. related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Lawn's on the right track. A museum. Beginning navigation. Beginning navigation. Whoa, really? Well, that settles it. Oh man. So we found our next target. He seems like a nice man, but hey, he's wait. obviously lying because. Hey, when did you activate the nav? You surprised me. Didn't have much of a choice. I think we just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed and then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Come on. Morgana, you were right here while we were all guessing. You probably would have figured it out once you started walking on two legs. Brr. Hey. So even you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yup, in a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the difference can be subtle. What? Forget that, look! That shack is seriously some kind of museum? Hey! Let's go check it out. Extravagant to the point that it's gaudy. Yeah. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. This exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? Got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse either. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. That aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Oh uh, yeah, you are right about that. Normally that's one of their targets. Yeah. Now that's our joker. I feel the same. But man, just look at that insane crowd. There's always that one. There's always that one scene where, like, the the thieves are, like, on the roof and they're, like, they, they rappel down with, like, rope and, like, steal the treasure right from underneath the, the, uh, glass. We need to do that. Yes! Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Ugh, are we gonna have to wait in that gigantic line? Don't be stupid, we're not going in the front door. But there's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up over it then. Any in any case, let's get going. There already looks to be a truck that we can climb up. And there we go. And then Yep. Here we go. This is really of how he, this is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's just not hitting me that this is the only is that old guy's palace. 
That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Alright, let's jump down. Aw, oh, man. I love it how there's, like, people right there. Like, we're totally obvious right now. Focus. But, uh, anyway. Ooh. Focus. We stole our first piece of treasure from this castle. Palace. It's not a castle anymore. But, uh... Oh, can we climb up here? We can indeed. Alright. It's been a while since I played, so I'm not entirely sure. I don't entirely remember all of the ways to go, but I'm pretty sure I remember this beginning part well enough. Uh, I don't think you go that way because you can't jump across anywhere else, so let's go this way. I have something. And whenever I see these, I know they're probably treasures, especially out here. Heck yeah! Ooh. And a jar window. We're g we are gonna do the thing where we we go down hey. from the skylight. Ooh, the skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> Don't worry, I have a rope. I'm a tool specialist, after all. So what's your call, Joker? Want to head inside? Heck yeah! We get to rappel down. Let's do this. Aw, oh, man, that's awesome. Look at that. I mean, we didn't we didn't that's do suspicious. it over. We didn't do it over, like, a glass case with, like, a really expensive thing in it, but, uh... Hey, this? It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. Hum, the palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Focus. But first, I'm gonna steal one of these again. Heck yeah, look at all this stuff we're getting. Um... Oh hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let me see. It's someone name. It's someone's name and age. What the hell? That can't be the title of a painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Hmm. Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. All right. Curious about the other paintings too. Come on, let's go in the next room. Oh, I guess we're. I guess it's not the rest of these. Ah, uh, that looks like a. That actually looks like a, um... That looks... What's the word? What's the name of the school? Uh... Yas... Yasugami? I think it's Yasugami. That looks like a Yasugami uniform from Persona 4. Uh, just noticed that, actually. Oh uh, man, these look, uh, suspicious. But, uh... I passed through it before thinking, so and we didn't get in trouble, so we're probably all right. I mean, I guess the Yasugami Yasugami high uniform is literally just like a black, like sailor styled kind of school top for the girls, so that's not hard to do. But that one in particular looks specifically like it, uh, with like the white, the gr like grayish stripes things. Uh, I guess we can look at any of these. This one's got a name and an age. Yeah, they all seem to have names and ages, I guess. Oh man, crappy portrait. Focus. I don't want a crappy portrait. I want a good Somewhere. portrait. Is this a good portrait? It's a life stone. Can't sell that for money. I guess I could use it, though. Uh, plastic frame. Why plastic? I love it how, like, the treasures in these, uh, the, like, tiny treasures in, like, whenever you have, like, the glowing, the glowing gold ones. Like, they're always, like, terrible. Like. I have something. It's somewhere. Ooh, actually. Can we go in here? We can go in here. Oh, this is where we came in. I, I went all, I went around completely. I wasn't looking at the map. Uh, but anyways, oh man, look at that door. It's actually kind of neat. Hey, Hey, this doesn't make any sense. Monorama is famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec. Damn it. Ain't that the guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was shit-talking Monorama? Natsuhiko Nak... Nakano Hara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him here? And more importantly, 
Why is his name written under it? And more importantly than that, Ryuji, you were facing me, and I'm facing the painting. So how did you notice that first? You're right. Doesn't art usually have, like, the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. Alright, let's look- let's keep looking around for now. And let's see... I'm just looking at them carefully because, like, with the- With the, like, Yasugami High School girl- Like, I'm not saying she is, I'm just saying it looks similar. Oh, man! I'm going to get back to that. Nope, there's something over here. So I guess we are going to pay attention to that. Alright. That's... That's Yusuke, yeah. It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Huh? Oh, wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? They're probably Madarami's pupils. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke when we went to his pal went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what that Nak Nakano Hara guy said earlier, things are getting closer. Are, are getting clearer. Mm. All right, let's keep investigating. We need some. We need something to further confirm our deductions. Oh wait, there was another one of those pots. Maybe it was a treasure. Come on. It's somewhere. Yeah, it is. Heck yeah. I thought they might have uh, pushed us forward and I would have been like, No, I can't get the treasure. There seems to be kind of some kind of pamphlet here. Mm -hmm. What's up? You, what's up? You find something? We're here to investigate, so we, we should check everything that catches our attention. It's got a pamphlet. Mm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why do you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. At the very least, it's a map. If that's a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows us... Huh? But the map only shows us half of the museum. I see. It says it's one out of two. Then the two out of the two out of two's got to be somewhere here, right? Just how big is this place? We can worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. <clears throat> I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to, fishy to me. All right, so yeah, um, I mean, look, it's Monorami on TV. Oh man, it's a chest. There's another. There's another chest on the other side, but uh, it's locked, and I don't remember if we have locked chest. Why don't we crack it open? Ooh, can I get something from the vending machine? Ah. But what if I want SP items? Okay, so we can't get anything from the chest right now, but we can go in here. Actually, how? What's up here? Oh, it's blocked off. Okay, uh, we can go in here. And oh man, that's uh, there's people in them. Their statue. That's not uh. Not sure I like that piece. What's it called? Ugh. Hmm. Look at this. The Infinite Spring? A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Wasn't what Madarame said something about like his ideas coming up from a spring? Damn it, what a phony geezer. 
In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! He did say that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? I'd say this is more than enough to target Madarame. That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Why? He's not going to tell us the truth. He already didn't tell us the truth the first time. Confirming them is only going to make him angry, and that could lead to trouble. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. Um, that's that's a fair point. What a pain in the ass. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? She already seemed like she was gonna do that from the beginning. You all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. A famous, renowned artist, huh? Wow, oh, this might be tougher than Kamashita. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what! Uh, I think you mean we gotta succeed no matter what. Because, like, I mean, we could very well fail and then... Mm. Bam. What happens then? Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Madarame isn't a problem. What do you mean? Something wrong? I mean, I know that Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be ex an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, you got a point. No, she doesn't. So, we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is worth going after or not? I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Uh, can you ask Yusuke on? Okay, got it. I guess we can talk some more about this after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Alright, so... There we go. And now, once again, it's time for us to go to bed. I said it's time for us to go to bed. There we go. Yo. Hey, it's me. I just can't forgive Madarame, but what An said made me think. To Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Uh, probably. I knew it. It ain't like he thinks it is. Pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. Makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? Uh, you're right, Ryuji. Thanks. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Seriously. Well, see you tomorrow. Yeah, Yusuke doesn't seem to be in a good position if that's if any of that is true. And Madarame has a palace, and also Sai mentioned him, so you know. He's kind of probably definitely going to be our next target. 
Alright, I contacted Katagua-kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Uh... Just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go all out, all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Monorame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitago kun wanted this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I could let you guys know when... I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. I got a response from Kitagoa-kun. He said he wants he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. He probably changed his mind his plans immediately just so he could get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagoa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Mm. Hey, quiet down. It's that student council president. Oh man. Oh man, she's talking to Mishima. Come on, man. Yikes, she got a hold of Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Alright! We finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Matarame. But man, on's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things some things and I didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawa-kun has, has to be protecting Madarame? I mean, they live together, so we'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I could think for him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, Wait. that's weird. But that's why we're gonna check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean, prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seemed different about her to you? Uh... Did she cut her bangs? Whoa! Oh, nice eye. I didn't cut them. Well, I can't tell. Everyone always looks the same because they're all... Uh, they're all cut-ins. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his okay. model. Once he finishes drawing and getting a little friendlier, we should be we should bring up Madarame. Oh man. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki san. Yeah, he's not happy that we're here again. Wouldn't you get nervous too if it was just the two of us? We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Ryuji, tact. Seriously, it's a thing that exists. Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. That is a specifically suspiciously specific denial, man. Huh? Is there a problem? No. Not really. Well then, let's get started. Hmm. You hear her? Hmm. It's no use. I think he's concentrating really hard. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? Well, looks like he's focused. How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Uh, don't get caught, man. Hm. Who do you think you're talking to? This is too boring. A cat. So I'm going to scout around a bit. Hm. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Are you done? 
It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Eh, artists have artist block sometimes. Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? Ryuji, come on! He's an artist. Give him a break. I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. Oh no. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. Ryuji! This again. <sighs> that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... Spot on. I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. We're the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Although we probably shouldn't say that last part out loud. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. I mean, it can still be called plagiarism. People do that all the time. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Kitago kun Hey, can we not push him? He blew up last time. Then why are you sticking around? Ryuji! All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? Ryuji, stop pushing there are no him. victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. You're okay with this? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? It's, there's nothing wrong in what you're doing, it's what he's doing. Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Oh man, I can't I can't be sued. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Ryuji, I think we are very much done doc talking here. I cannot get sued again. Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me... Uh... I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! Uh... How about no? What? Nude? Ah, uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Oh dear. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Wait a minute. So if you're gonna submit the piece that you're drawing of on, and... Madarame is gonna put it in his museum. It's gonna be a lot of people seeing a naked on. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? This spiraled quickly out of because control. Because those are my terms. But that's. Wait, ain't that bad? Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. Uh, I should buy more art supplies. Will you 
Give me a second here. Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans. But please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean. Why are you not listening? Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. Hey, what should we do? Uh, we should probably just leave because, uh, he said so yeah. and I don't want to get arrested. Damn it. He got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! Bye, on. Hmm? Have uh, Is fun. Is she done being a model? Yes. Morgana, do not ask questions. Oh, moron. You'll be... You'll be mad. So just don't. He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna. Morgana, get, take a cold shower. Drop it! You know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? I mean, that that doesn't necessarily mean Madar what Madarame do is doing is still right. At the, at the worst, he's manipulating Kitagawa-kun into feeling like that. Uh, also, you're gonna have to pose nude in that case. Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? I am not! Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? Exactly. No, it is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Hitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Uh, probably. No way! No! We must deal with Madarame, no matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarame's place, too. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout has moved to the Shu from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Take You Building Access Way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Hello. Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh. Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. Hello, Yukiko's voice There's actor. This painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. It's been a while. Oh, Sayuri, that was the, that was that uh, thing that Yusuke but mentioned. There's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Oh Have dear. Have you heard anything about that? Nope. Uh, Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing. I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. 
Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Oh man, we got a business card. I guess we should go home for today. And she had some artwork there, so I'm sure she's going to be important later, but... Also, as I previously mentioned, she was voiced by the same woman who voiced Yukiko. <sighs> Whatever, I still can't forgive him, Damning, demanding to paint Lady On nude and then claiming to report us to the police. Hello? Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Actually... Someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you two to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off t talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya sta Station after school. The guide's name is Nakano Hara. Oh man, he's probably going to give us some intel on Madarame. Hmm. Nakano Hara, that's Madarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. I found something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. Is that true? That journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. Someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Katagawa couldn't have heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably going to be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Madarami's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's the it's that sh it's that passageway in in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. And we will investigate those other victims another time, because it's late and I'm going to call it a night. Alright, that is not what I wanted to do. Um, there we go. Okay. So, with that having been done, and with all of this stuff having gone on, uh, once again, I'm going to call it a night. Uh, sorry if I haven't been as talkative as I normally am. Um, I try to provide more commentary usually, but uh, I haven't been... M as mentioned pre earlier in the episode, I haven't been feeling too well, and uh, it's late, and I have a long day tomorrow, so... Yeah. Um, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the episode despite all that. Um, sorry for taking up so much of the first part of it, just apologizing and uh, mentioning what went wrong with my stream. Um, if... I will do better in the next stream, so if you like, if you guys are interested in coming out to a stream, I will be streaming, um, not this upcoming Saturday, but probably two Saturdays from now. Um, with that being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, and that's it. Peace out.